Punchlung Country, this is Sunday Mass with Bishop Greg Homie. Here in this place, new light is streaming. Now is the darkness vanished away. See in this place our fears and our dreamings brought here to you in the light of this day. Gather us in the lost and forsaken. Gather us in the blind and the lame. Call to us now and we shall awaken. We shall arise at the sound of our name. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Let's once again at the beginning of this Mass place before the Lord the great needs that we have, that we may all have God's protection, and let's turn to God. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ Christ of mercy. You are word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Kings. A man came from Baal Shalisha, bringing Elisha, the man of God, bread from the first fruits, twenty barley loaves and fresh grain in the ear. Give it to the people to eat, Elisha said. But his servant replied, How can I serve this to a hundred men? Give it to the people to eat, he insisted. For the Lord says this, They will eat and have some left over. He served them. They ate and had some over, as the Lord had said. The Word of the Lord. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God. The The hand hand of the Lord Lord feeds us. us. He answers answers all 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 our needs. The eyes of all creatures look to you, and you give them their food in due time. You open wide your hand, grant the desires of all who live. The The hand hand of the the Lord Lord feeds us. us. He answers answers all our needs. needs. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. 
the hand, hand of the of Lord, Lord feeds, feeds us. us. He answers, he answers all, all our needs. Our needs. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. I, the prisoner in the Lord, implore you to lead a life worthy of your vocation. Bear with one another charitably in complete selflessness, gentleness, and patience. Do all you can to preserve the unity of the Spirit by the peace that binds you together. There is one body, one Spirit, just as you were all called into one, and the same hope when you were called. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God, who is Father of all, through all, and within all. The Word of the Lord. <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus went off to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, or Tobias, and a large crowd followed him, impressed by the signs he gave by curing the sick. Jesus climbed the hillside and sat down there with his disciples. It was shortly before the Jewish feast of the Passover. Looking up, Jesus saw crowds approaching and said to Philip, Where can we buy some bread for these people to eat? He only said this to test Philip. He himself knew exactly what was going to do. Philip answered, Two hundred denarii would buy only enough to give them a small piece each. One of his disciples, Andrew Simon, Peter's brother, said, There is a small boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what would that have between them? Jesus said to them, Make the people sit down. There was plenty of grass there, and as many as 5,000 men sat down. Then Jesus took to the loaves and gave thanks, and gave them out to all who were sitting already. He then did the same with the fish, giving out as much as they wanted. When they had eaten enough, he said to the disciples, pick up the pieces left over so that nothing gets wasted. So they picked them up and filled twelve hampers with scraps left over from the meal of the five barley loaves. The people seeing this sign that he had given said, This really is the prophet who came into the world. Jesus, who could see that they were about to come and take him by force and make him king, escaped back to the hills by himself. The Gospel of the Lord. I'm sure that many of you have experienced someone that you love passing away. And as the time goes on after the death of someone you love, you begin to see all the things that they did for you and for others. Very often you didn't notice them while they were alive. And then you start to think, I wish I had said this, I wish I had done that. But alas, the time has moved on and you can only look back in hindsight and think, if only I had seen this, if only I had recognised this, if only I had appreciated more what I could have said and done. Today's Gospel is a very interesting Gospel because in many ways the most significant part of it for me is at the end the people saw that sign that he had given. And yet, they only saw the sign that he had given, according to St. John's Gospel, when they picked up all the pieces, when they noticed that there's obviously far more in these baskets of leftovers than we observe being handed out. 
and I think we have to ask the question, I wonder what they recognised while the food was being given to them. My sense is they probably had no sense at all of what had happened. They just ate what was given to them, it was given to them, and they ate. There was no sense of gratitude in, there was no sense of anything, because I think with so many people there pushing from all the different sides, they weren't focusing carefully on what was happening in front of them. Suddenly there was food, which they ate. And according to today's Gospel, when there were so many 12 hampers of scraps picked up, then they recognised something had happened. I'm quite sure they didn't even know how many loaves and how many fish we started with. Only the people around Jesus knew, people that brought them, the apostles who were there, those that watched him break and give to them to hand out. And so for the ordinary person there, like all of us, when someone dies, they didn't recognise as it was happening what was happening. All they recognised was someone's handing me some bread and fish and we eat it. After the event, they recognised it and they wanted to take him off to be king. The challenge that today's gospel presents to me is a very simple one. Why is it that when those who I loved and who loved me were doing things for me, I may have recognised something, but it was only after they died, in hindsight, that I began to recognise the extent of what I was given, the extent of love that I had received. I think that's a question we can all ask, because we, like these people, have been fed with loaves and fish all of our lives, and for the most part we've noticed nothing of it. I think it's not really a blind... It is a kind of a blindness, I suppose. Not that we don't see what's happening, but so often we notice what we don't have rather than what we have. We notice what we're not given rather than what we are given. We are unhappy about things rather than happy with what we've got. And this is so much so the case in the contemporary world where people want and desire everything and as a consequence, don't see what they've got. It's only when what they've got is taken from them that they recognise what it is. It's only when something happens that, that we do recognise that, indeed, I am so blessed. I have been given things all my life, and that continues to be the case up to this day. In one way, the miracle of today's Gospel is the people saw they were able to see at the end. The terrible thing is they got it wrong too. They wanted to take him off and make him king. The only response when we recognise gift is thanksgiving. The response of gratitude, the turning to God with all of our heart and praying because the recognition requires the correct response. Today's Gospel then challenges us. Why do we not see? Why don't I appreciate? And to begin to look into ourselves and see, well, what do I see? What do I not see? And ask, why is that the case? And we will immediately see within ourselves the things that the hand of God wants to change. And as we do change and see God's love and the love through other people, then let's open our hearts wide by giving thanks, by being people of gratitude. And if we are, today's gospel will in fact be a gospel for each of us. And let's stand and profess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. 
he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. In the miracle of the feeding of the 5,000 people, our Lord shows us that the Father will give us everything we need. Let us ask him for all the good gifts he can provide for us. For our pastors, especially the Pope and bishops, that they may continue to nourish us with sound doctrine. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for those who fight against famine, that their work of relief and research may feed the starving millions in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For people who hunger for Christ, that they may find the one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for this assembly of the faithful, that we may love Jesus Christ as he gives himself to the multitude in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that all who are sick and bereaved may receive healing acceptance through Christ and the intercessions of St. Mary of the Cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For the faithful departed, that they may come to the eternal feast in God's, ki in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear Heavenly Father, we make these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Here are a million wounded souls I yearning just to touch you and be healed Gather all your people Hold them to your heart We remember how you loved us To your death And still we celebrate For you are with us here And we believe that we will see Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, and while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy. <coughs> Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, Saint Teresa, Saint John of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, <coughs> Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb, Lord. Lord. <coughs> but only say the word of my soul.
us pray. O Lord, we have consumed this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord grant you his protection and may he protect those you love and those for whom you pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Create a new heart, holy Lord, beckon our